Hello my friends and welcome to an episode of Controversial Stories. Today we're traveling to the island of Jekyll Island in Georgia. Uh, this island has a lot of history, so you will you will see a little bit down further why this is a history so relevant. And also you're gonna see some sea turtles, uh, some menu that I tried at the island, and also some footage from the sunrise and you're already seeing it right now. Also, a few, a few views from the beach and around. Also, the bridge that connects the Jekyll Island to the rest of the state. And also, a little bit of the Brunswick River, which crosses in between, uh, outside from the state of Georgia proper, the mainland, into Jekyll Island and then out into the Atlantic Ocean. So, stay tuned. And I will see you all later. So we're here at the beach, um, you can see there's a lot of breeze going on, I like it overall, nothing special at all compared to Florida beaches, but you're gonna spend the day, it's quiet, there's no uh, four tracks or four by four vehicles running around the beach, like you won't expect that in the west coast, so that's something that I really welcome about that. Overall it's quiet, there's nobody bothering you, there's no people trying to uh, start bonfires and craft like that. It's okay for people to do that in other places, but over here it's, it's more like a sanctuary island with the chance of people just getting the chance to get in there, but I, I fear that in the future uh, the, the entrance to the island will be restricted just because there's so much going on or uh, there's the government trying to take care of sea turtles that come here to lay eggs and overall I think it's good while it lasts if people can take care of the things that at some point we'll need in the future. And you see in the distance that's a cruise ship probably coming from New York going down to the Bahamas or Florida. Again very tranquil, very quiet place, spend the day or a weekend. I highly recommend it. I really wish to come back again. So after this trip across the beach, I, I got a little bit hungry and I got some fish sandwich and some fries and a beer. And this is a mud life for dessert, kind of a big chunk of mud pie, but uh, it was really good. And traveling down outside from um, Jekyll Island, we're, we're leaving to cross uh, the bridge uh, near Jekyll Island. I forgot his name. <laughs> That's the entrance to Jekyll Island. And here we're really crossing now. This is the Sydney Lanier Bridge uh, that goes across uh, the Brunswick River goes outside from the state of Georgia and kind of washes off Jekyll Island and then goes outside to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, the build, it was started building in 1995 for fish construction in 2003, so it's a very recent 
um, cable stay breach. Uh, the bridge connects, as I said before, from the gold Jekyll Island, just one of the Golden Islands, back to uh, Sang which Island, if I'm not mistaken. So there's many, many places across this uh, chain of islands, which are called the Golden Islands. It's a lot of subtropical climate. It's very hot and humid during this time of the year. I think there's also some small factories around. I don't know exactly what they're building over there. So hopefully it's not affecting the ecosystem. There's a lot of animals everywhere. Here we're back to Jekyll Island and this is the museum. It's a lot of collection of things that were found all across the eastern coast of Georgia. It's not exclusive of Jekyll Island. It's a little bit of history from all the state of Georgia just because Jekyll Island, until very recently, it was sparsely populated. I don't even think there were Native Americans living in there until the, the rich guys came over and took over that um, island for their personal private resort. Here's some more archaeological found findings from across the state. This was part of a plantation, I think that was a slave housing. This is in Savannah, Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty much all these places are kind of connected just be for the sake of this being part of the state of Georgia all this time. These are more pictures of plantations and rewards for trade or escaped slaves. More archaeological findings of the time, more ruins, stuff that you pretty much will find in any other uh, area with a lot of history like Jekyll Island. Here is something a little bit more recent. This is one of the things that were part of the housing, basically appliances that you will find in the homes or the summer homes of the millionaires living in Jekyll Island. It's a lot of old artifacts, telephones, fire extinguishers, any sort of artifact that you'll find in the early 20th and late 19th century. You can pause the video if you want, if you want to read all these uh, cards. I, I know some of them was not, I was not able to get exactly what they read, but if you have the chance to read at least one of them, you are good to go.
And here we're turning across the island in a vehicle. These are one of the shacks, quote unquote. It used to be the homes of many of the rich men in the United States during the summer. One of them, I think, was Rockefeller. Uh, another one was the famous owner of Standard Oil, which at some point in the past was one of the biggest, most powerful companies in the United States. But it will be considered today uh, the version of Bill Gates, the owner of the former owner of Microsoft. One of the hotels, one of the oldest hotels, was one of the many summer shacks, quote unquote, that were owned by one of these millionaires back in the day. We're touring, we're still going to the tour. Again, it's a lot of urbanization in this island. Most of these are now museums, others are turning to hotels. I think there's more constructions going on. So we end up the day eating some pizza and also watching some sea turtles, which this is a hospital for sea turtles who found injured or are unable to escape or probably get stuck in some air plastic bag or pretty much get injured by any human are taking care for here. There's a lot of many many sea turtles. And the other thing I really found that I really didn't like was that there's a chance that you can feed them. But that thing in my opinion will allow them to become victims of humans again because you you, you build you make them believe that they need to trust any humans. In my opinion that won't be that can be counterproductive to them. And with that, I will leave you with this cute little friend here. I will see you all in the next episode. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.